Um, we have, uh, we had uh, something prepared for all the learners, both in primary and in high school. We have some tips ready for you in mathematics here. And uh, these tips, I think, will help all the learners, all the learners. So mathematics, if you look at uh, your screens, we have the tips there ready for you. So the first M, the first M, make maximum use of the lesson. Make maximum use of the lesson. Then A there, you have to ask and answer questions in class. You have to ask and answer questions in class. T, you teach others and spend time talking about mathematics. Don't be selfish. If you have any concept in math, please try to share that concept with the rest, and God will bless you. Then we have H. H here stands for have all mathematical materials with you. Have all mathematical materials with you. And when you talk about the mathematical materials, we are referring to things like uh, the scientific calculators. I hope you know, learners, you are supposed to have FX82MS. That is the one that is recommended by NEC. You also need to have a functional geometrical set and also a mathematical table. Let's move on to E. E stands for exercise daily by doing practice exercises. So even if you are at home there, I know we have uh, the issue of uh, the corona. You are at home, don't just keep your books far away. Exercise, have even two questions in a day, three questions in a day, you don't have to answer uh, 20 questions in a day for you to have done exercise. Even one question is enough for a mathematician. M, let's move on to M. M, you maintain good learning relation with math teachers. So avoid um, conflicts. You went to school to learn and make sure you stick to that particular objective. A, attend all lessons if possible with positive attitude. Always learners have the, mm, the attitude of uh, math is difficult. Math is not difficult. In fact, math, as I always tell my students, math is the easiest subject in the world. Uh, T stands for test your ability and try your best. Test your ability and try your best. I interact with peers who love mathematics. Choose your friends wisely. Don't choose friends who have negative attitude towards mathematics. They will influence you. Then second last, calculate carefully and correctly. Calculate carefully and correctly. And this one can only be achieved if you go through the question at least twice and at most thrice. Never go through the question 10 times. You'll be wasting time. Finally, S, you select a good place in class to sit. So this one can be done in consultation with a class teacher. So you have to talk to your class teacher. If you have any challenge while sitting at the back or the front or at the middle, you have to let the the class teacher know so that uh, he or she can shift you.